This is bullshit. Boy, do I got a story to tell y'all. Now, the title is very exaggerating. Like, it's really not as much as the title says it is. But it's still in the same vein. So, take it seriously as much as I would. This was not a motorcycle. It was a moped. But, you know, same thing. Motorcycle, moped. It doesn't matter what it is, depending on how fast you go. I was still going relatively fast. But this happened in 2020. It was, like, in the heart of the pandemic and everything like that. And I just got my license. Like, I, I got my license at... I think it was 16 or 17, late 16, early 17, maybe somewhere around there. And although I was excited, I have really bad anxiety with driving, just anxiety in general. I think I get my driving anxiety from my mom's side, whether that be like inheritant or like genetics or whatever, I don't know. But I, I don't like driving and all my friends know that. That's why I always pester them to come pick me up or come take me um here or there or there I'll, I'll try to drive as much as uh, as least as possible that's that's my goal it's my goal in life but my dad is a huge car mechanic he's into cars and everything like that and I, i'm not really into cars but you know i'll take a gander i play forza like i said i just don't like driving but my dad got into this like little phase where he wanted to start making mopeds and these aren't like little mopeds that you would s see your grandpa driving these were you know ring dinging like tokyo drift mopeds okay they had they had japanese products on them or i don't even know but i thought it was really cool i invited my friends over um i think it was karsten and cj they, they were both with me and this was my first time riding the moped let alone riding a, a, a two-wheeled motor vehicle so obviously i didn't like know how to drive it but it, it was it was fairly simple and I was only gonna drive it down the neighborhood and back and that's exactly what I did but I didn't make it all the way so basically what happened my dad let me take it for a spin he was very you know high spirited and everything like that and he he wanted to see me like try it out and that's exactly what I did I hopped on that I hopped on that shit and I started revving it and I and I took off like I took off while standing on the motorcycle that's how confident I was I felt like an absolute beast little did i know roy would be my downfall by telling my dad you know what if he gets into a car accident or what if he crashes dad says no he won't i mean because like what what kind of percentage would it be that i would crash on my moped in a neighborhood right next to my house very unlikely very unlikely i i make it about like 100 feet down down the down the road and i see that there's a red car in the intersection it's like a little t so I'm on that T going this way, and the car is going this way. There's a stop sign. They're in the right. They were in the right this whole this whole thing, by the way. They I, I was in the wrong completely. But they see the stop sign, they stop. And I'm like, okay, there's a red car. I'm just gonna keep going. But then for some fucking reason, and I'm still pissed at myself, my my arms start doing this. Towards the car. It starts doing this. And I don't realize it. And I'm just like. And then boom, I hit the, the fucking corner of the car, the, the headlights, and the car stops. Because when a, when a unstoppable force meets an in it, whatever the fuck he said, boom, that's what happens. Me, I keep going, okay? So I fly over the moped, over the car, I do a fucking front flip land on my back on the asphalt okay and and nothing hurt by the way i'm i i survived with full hp N i took no damage i wasn't wearing any shoes and i had socks on my socks were completely blown off i didn't have any socks anymore i don't know if i blacked out or something i mean the pain came afterwards obviously but i don't know if i like blacked out but when i landed on my back my first thought was damn i just got my nintendo switch and i won't be able to play it that was my first thought. This goes to show that, like, I gotta start caring about more important things. But no, in all seriousness, uh, my first, like, initial thought was, holy shit, this vehicle doesn't have insurance. I don't, like, know anything about that. We're fucked. I'm going to jail. I knew nothing about cars. I knew nothing about, like, the whole insurance policies and all, all of that stuff. So I was freaking out. I thought my dad was going to get pissed, but he was more concerned about, you know, me flying over the car and almost dying. And I was like, oh, well, this is going to be very expensive because I got to go fix that car that I crashed into. The car was spotless. It was as if like a little, a little rice cake 
hit the side of a of a bicep <sighs> So it was very like minor damage. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. The moped, it was destroyed. Total. It was fucked. Me, I was fine. The car was fine. The people in the car were like, holy shit, are you okay? The whole neighborhood came out to come see what, what the hell happened. Because nothing happens in our neighborhood. So I had the spotlight for a second. I was flat on my back and I was like... And that's when I vowed to never go on a motorcycle, a moped ever again. Sometimes I don't even want to ride my bike. But yeah, I, it, it was stupid of me. It was my fault. I get that. Um, yeah, that's that's a that's a time I'll never forget. I still I haven't crashed a car since. That's the only kind of vehicle that I've crashed, and it wasn't even mine, and it wasn't even like a vehicle that I had necessarily. <sighs> Fun times. Loved every single minute of it.